You know what, Guido? I was suspicious at first, okay? I was kind of confused as to why this random uncle who I've never met before gave us his holiday home here in the crazy fishing dimension. But now that we spent a couple of days here, and now that we've, ahem, <clears throat> got to know the locals, I am actually pleasantly surprised with how this trip is going. What do you think? I think something about this island feels... Sinister. Sinister? Oh, no chance. Not here. This place is known for being one of the most beautiful and serene places within the entire multiverse, okay? Danger doesn't exist here. Fear? Nope. Suspense? No, sir. Horror? Don't make me laugh. No, everything about this dimension is just... It's just pleasant, okay? Look, would I be able to convince you if I told you that just over there, there is a fantastic beach resort? Really? A beach? That's right, dude. An area to relax and let all of your fears and all of your anxiety float away in the wind. But before we do that, it's dinner time. I'm not eating that, Steve. No, Guido, you fool. This is bait. We're not just gonna straight up eat this, although I am a little bit curious. Ugh, look at that. Can I... Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I don't know what I expected. This is fish food, not our food. Now, Guido, of course... Ugh, of course, out here in the wilderness, we have nothing to eat but fish. So while we do have to find them, catch them, and conserve them, we may also have to eat the occasional few. So uh, just bear that in mind. Oh, have I got one? Have I got a fish already? Is that something I've got? Let's see. It's a... Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Oh, I forgot how horrific they look. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, nightmarish. Yeah, this thing is a boomerang fish and it's absolutely horrifying, but luckily they have their other uses. Huh. Yeah, so that's a thing. I also noticed while I was over here in my strange uncle's hut that we can go ahead and go right here to the shop and see exactly what types of hooks they have. There's a whole bunch here. Look at this. Oh my goodness, what's the most expensive one I can find? We have so much money, we can go ahead and straight up buy the golden rod. Thank you very much. And I can also go ahead and buy myself a brand new hook. Now, which one do I want? I guess... I guess the butcher hook looks cool. Oh, the butcher hook. Look at that thing. Anyway, we've wasted enough time. Let's get out there and let's get fishing and let's see what we can find with this ultra rare and brand new fishing rod and hook. All right, let's get another basic fish head and let's see if we can get anything different with this brand new hook and rod. And then I think we're going to head to the beach to see what's going on there. Oh, oh, I think we may have a bite. Yes, we do. Let's see exactly what we get from this. It's gonna be something special I can tell and here we go oh my gosh it's right on the edge oh look at the size of this thing whoa it's like a TV fish it's squirming around a bunch and it is absolutely horrific yeah Guido you know when I said there's nothing dangerous or bad or terrifying about this world this would indicate otherwise but luckily for us we don't have to keep this thing as a pet we can simply shred it up there we go and we are going to get from that Oh, a bunch of pills and a frog leg. Well, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I am going to throw this away, unless you want some lunch, Guido. No, I think I'll pass, Steve. Yeah, good idea, dude. I am going to take some of this brand new bait, and we ugh, are gonna try it out at a brand new location over on the beach. Also, I think we can use these mushrooms as well to kind of uh, use as bait too. Maybe if I eat them, let me try this. Let me try, grab that. This looks a lot healthier than the fish head. And, uh, oh my gosh, I've been made huge. Look at this. Where, <laughs> what happened to my rod? Where's the hook? What is going on here? Okay, okay, enough fooling around. Let's head to the beach and see exactly what's going on. It's been a little while. Maybe things have changed. Oh, we just found a clam right here. Let's go ahead and hook this. I want to get right on top of those bones. And I'm going to fish from the top of this thing. Here we go. I don't see many fish down there right now, but maybe they'll come from far and wide to find that clam. 
Okay, we could have a bite any second now. I can definitely see one fish kind of circling around right there. Come on, come on. One of you guys have got to be interested in this random clan that I just found on the ground over there. It looks like someone may be interested. No, he's swimming the other direction. Okay, you know what? Fine. Screw this. I will take it to the beach where it will be much more appreciated. All right, buddy. I can see the beach from here. We just have to pass through this dark, dangerous sheltered, hard to see through forest. This is terrifying. Uh, remember Guido, we don't use that word around here. Nothing is scary, nothing is terrifying. Just, uh, <laughs> just stick, stick with it. What the heck was that? Okay, let's just run through, blinded, and let's get to the beach. Here we go. Okay, can't see a thing, can't see a thing. What I can't see won't kill me. What I can't see won't stalk me to the end of the earth and hunt me down and kill me and brutally mutilate me and absolutely destroy everything about my body. Okay, whew. We made it to the beach. We made it out of there alive. All I had to do was give us some <clears throat> motivational words. All right, here we are at the beach. And as you can see, it is much more nicer than that dark and dangerous and weird looking forest. There was all sorts of weird noises there, Guido. Did you hear them? <laughs> yeah, it's probably like local wildlife or something. Nothing to be worried about. All right, Clem, let's go ahead and pop you right there. Let's uh, get a good solid cast in there. Oh, look how far that one went. Boom. Now we just have to wait for a bite as it sinks to the bottom of the ocean or whatever's going on right there. Oh, oh, I think I've got a bite. Yep, yes, I do. Okay, let's see what we're going to get with this clam. This rare clam with the rare hook and the rare fishing rod we are going to get. What the heck is that? Hello? What is that? It's some kind of just green fish. Is it new? A ghost fish. Was that you making all that noise? Probably. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and cash you in. There we go. $668. Let's go to a different area just to see what we can get. Let's go to the underground cave and see. Oh, yep. There's the teleporter. And let's see if we can get anything brand new with this shrimp. There definitely seems to be more fish in there than the other locations. Okay, that's sunk all the way to the bottom. But there is definitely one fish who looks a little bit interested. And yes, there's the bite. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Don't fail me now. Yes, what is that? Oh, is that something new? A robot fish? What? <laughs> Guido, look at this thing. That is amazing. 10.75 kg, a robot made by the legendary fisherman. I think they're talking about me. I tell you what, just because you are so beautiful, I'm going to put you right in my pouch. There you go. Oh, his head's kind of fallen off. But you, sir, will not be being fed to the fishes today. In fact, I'm going to grab whatever that is over there. Oh, it looks like it's another pill. And I'm going to try capture another rare fish. What the heck is the shop doing all the way up there? Come down. <sighs> it is getting pretty late, though. So what we should probably do is do a few more casts here. I guess we've been fishing all day, though, so it's a really tiring. Okay. Oh, there's another bite. Come on, come on, come on. And what is that? Oh, it's another robot fish. For goodness sake. Are we going to get anything special? We know that the pills equal robots, but does the fish head equal something else? Let's see. And come on. Yes, there it is. Let's see exactly what we're going to get from this. Is it going to be something brand new? Oh, I've seen one of these before, I think. I believe it's a lava fish. Will you stop? There we go. Oh my gosh. Hot, hot, hot. It's on fire. Yeah, no kidding. What are we going to get from this? It is... Oh, what is this? A secret note. What I do need is this secret key. I wonder what we can use this for. Wait, Guido, in that dark forest, I think I saw a chest. Not exactly pleased about having to head back to that forest, but hey, what can you do? Right, Guido, the dark forest is just over there. Now, we know that is scary, so maybe we should bring some protection or something. Do you have... 
Do you have one of the guns from the checkpoint? We could definitely use that right about now. Just a good old solid laser pistol. And then if anything jumps out at us, we can just be like, BAM! Look, I'm just gonna head over there right now. Let's just hop in this direction and let's see if we can find that secret chest. Oh my gosh, this place, it gives me chills as soon as I come into here. Okay, so I think, yes, it's just up here. What the heck was that? Okay, just stay focused. All right, here we go. So we've got the chest right here. We can go ahead and hook it. Then let's find my key and let's see if this works. There we go. Oh, all the contents fell on the ground and cheese. Seriously? Is that it? Well, I guess this is, uh, this is my breakfast. You know what, Guido? This place isn't half bad. In fact, I think we could do some fishing right from this spot right here. What do you think? I think we're being followed. Oh. Really? Well look dude, if it makes you feel any better at all, I will go ahead and I will lay some bait of my own right here on this tree stump. If there's any kind of terrifying creature out here in the forest, when we return to it, there should be absolutely nothing left. So let's put the bait right there. And as I said, we will return to check on it in the future. Okay, so we are here at the bridge because those same rare creatures over in the cave can be found here as well. It even looks like there's some Something very rare over there. Let's try it. I don't think this is gonna work, but let's actually try do this. So if we go over here, we use this as bait. We cast it into the into the water there. That actually may have been the worst cast yet. I actually don't think anything is gonna hook onto there, but still, it's worth trying. And I. Oh my gosh! Just stop it, creature! If you're out there, just stop bothering me. Okay, Guido, after a few more casts, we will return to the bait and see exactly what's going on. Oh, look, dude, in the trees. Is it lasagna? Is it cake? I don't know. I mean, lasagna is pretty much meat cake. Let's see if we can find any more rare creatures around here. Oh, it looks like there's something big right there. Let's see if we can hook him in. Okay, he's going for the lasagna slash meat cake. There we go. Are we going to be able to pick this guy up? We've got the strongest hook. The strongest... Oh, my gosh, my eyes. It hit me right in the face. Are you kidding me? You nasty, nasty boy. You're a nasty piece of work. You deserve this, good sir. There we go. Are we going to get any brand new kind of bait? What? A bunch of cheese? I mean, I guess we did just feed it lasagna. It's time for us to check up on the deep, dark forest just to see if our bait has been munched or if this creature out there kind of survives. Now, I think it was just this tree stump over here and... Oh my gosh. What the heck, dude? Something's come along and actually eaten the bait. So I guess it must be true. There is some kind of creature waiting for us, stalking us out here in the woods. But you know what, buddy? We will be returning. Oh, we will be returning back just to see if we can get an eye on that werewolf or an eye on that creature or something. Uh, is that new? No, once again, it's the ghost fish. Okay, listen to me, ghost fish, you tiny little freak. I want you to go to your werewolf boss and tell him that Steve and Guido are here to stay. We will not be bullied. We will not be pushed and forced out of this dimension. You tell him that, and you tell him it good, okay? Wait, if we wanted him to actually tell his boss, shouldn't we have thrown him in that direction? 